to get another check of weather with John Strabel because, John, it's April 1st, so we need to know will the April showers, if we're even going to have them, and will we have some flowers come May? <laughs> that seems like the big question right now. Will there ever be showers ever again? Because we've been so dry for so long now. And then, especially the past couple of days, we've just been so warm, too. But we are in for some big changes in this forecast. And we can only hope that we really do come in with some good shower activity for the rest of April. Certainly do need it. That just means you got to enjoy the sunshine and the warmth while we got it. Because hopefully we do have a change of pace that will be sticking around. You can see outside this morning that we do have crystal clear skies. Your Berkeley view looks absolutely brilliant and clear. No cloud cover, no fog. That's more than we can say for tomorrow because tomorrow morning we are going to see a deep layer of ocean cool air streaming right into the Bay Area. That's going to make for a foggy start to our Friday and a much cooler feel on your Friday too. So this morning we're kicking things off on another clear note. High pressure still in place so we're still warm today but we are replacing that offshore wind with some nice ocean cool air there, pushing right in from the west over the next 24 hours. This morning, it is really calm out there. It is a calm, mild, clear morning. Beautiful one to be stepping outside, maybe taking care of some errands, getting on that jog. I loved stepping outside this morning, which is not usually the case when we're getting to work in the morning. You can see as we work our way into the afternoon, we do see that ocean breeze kicking back up. That's going to cool things off across the Bay Area, initially right along the coastline, but by the time we move to the evening for the rest of the Bay Area too. So already seeing these changes as we work our way over the next 24 hours here. Today is still going to be just as hot, if not even a little bit hotter for a few spots than yesterday was. Tonight, we see that cool air slipping on in, and you can actually see that marine layer that will push across the bay on by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, we will be seeing mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. A couple of sprinkles right along the coastline in the form of just some drizzly areas come Saturday morning as well. So a quick change of pace right here that's going to bring temperatures down a lot closer to averages tomorrow and then eventually below average by next week. Today's daytime high is 70s and 80s for San Francisco. Not a big change from yesterday. Half Moon Bay at 80 degrees, Daly City at 79 today, while Burlingame, uh, Millbrae, South San Francisco, each holding onto the 80s as well. San Carlos, Redwood City, Palo Alto, and Mountain View just as warm, if not warmer, than yesterday at 87 degrees each. Temperatures in the South Bay Getting uncomfortably close to 90. Campbell, Santa Clara, and San Jose each up to 88. Same for you in Fremont and Hayward, while Union City and the Tri-Valley each at 87. Oakland, 86 for your high. Walnut Creek and Concord at 88 for your highs. Same numbers for Pittsburgh, Antioch, and Fairfield. No 90s on the map, but we are really close. And just to start off April, too. Now look at where we're heading in this forecast. So let's compare our number today with what we're going to be seeing as soon as Sunday and Monday. Daytime highs will fall as much as 20 degrees in just a matter of a couple of days. Quite the change of pace. It's going to take us a lot closer to our seasonal averages. Today, hot and sunny. Tomorrow, noticeably cooler. Still mild, but with a foggy start and then some partly cloudy skies in the afternoon. Saturday and Sunday, we fall into the 60s. And by Monday and Tuesday, there's your much-needed April showers that we can only hope we get more of as we work our way through the month. Raina.